Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? There's me in the glow. Good morning. Janine Truitt here. I am Janine Truitt, Chief Innovations Officer for Talent Think Innovations LLC. And I am just hopping on really quick, actually, from my daughter's school, just finished parent teachers conferences um, to talk about what I am thankful for. Hello, Craig. Thank you for joining. Um, so I am thankful every day. Like, actually, the title doesn't exactly get to the crux of what I'm going to say. Um, I'm just thankful every day. I think, yeah, um, this year in particular, I had a lot of loss, like of people that meant a lot to me. I'm in New York. What state are you in? Um, so yeah, I, I lost my grandmother who was, oh, California. Very cool. Nice and warm. It's kind of cold. You see me? I'm like all bundled up. It's way cold. Hello, Stefano. Thank you for joining. I'm just going to reset if you don't know me, because I'm seeing a lot of new people, I am Janine Truitt. I'm the Chief Innovations Officer for Talent Think Innovations LLC based in New York. And my company is a talent management uh, strategy firm where I help businesses basically on everything from the strategies they use to attract, retain, and develop their workforce, essentially. So that's a little bit about me. Happy Turkey Day. I'm so excited. Are you cooking, Craig? I'm cooking. I have to, I have my turkeys prepped and I've got my cranberry sauce to do and, and all that jazz. I'm, I'm the cook this year, so very exciting. So yeah, very cool, nice. So yeah, I am football. I'm a football girl. What team are you rooting for? I, I don't expect that it's the same team as mine. I'm a Giants girl. Um, so I wanted to just say that, you know, this year there's been like a ton of loss of like people that I really, really care about and I've had some near misses. <laughs> nice. Um, and you know, I think one of the things or the realizations that's come out of that is just that you have to live your life to the fullest and you really need to appreciate the people, your loved ones in your life um, every day and just be thankful every day when you open your eyes. Like just for that one thing, you should be thankful every day. Um, you know, I can, my, my things that I'm thankful for can change from year to year just based on the things that I'm accomplishing um, in business and in life and so forth. But this year in particular, I'm just thankful to be alive. I'm thankful for my health. Um, you know, I, I'm thankful for the people that are remaining here with me this year that I'll be able to see, hug, kiss, hold. Um, thankful for my family, from this business where I get to do exactly what I wanna do on a daily basis. I mean, awesome. I mean, just awesome. There's just so many people that don't have that opportunity. That's awesome, Craig. God bless too. You know, there's so many people suffering, like so many people. And I just wish everybody else could just wake up every day and feel full and feel blessed and, and know that every day is a blessing. And, um, you know, I think sometimes life throws things at you and, and um, you know, it causes you to kind of reevaluate your life and how you view it because I think a lot of what happens to us is all in how we view it and so you know I'm really making a conscious effort although not easy all the time it really isn't there's just we're human beings so there's going to be instances where we're ungrateful it's a human flaw um, but best as I can I'm really trying to see the good in every day um, to just be a little bit more lighthearted and just 
be thankful for where I am in life at this particular moment. I'm the kind of person that is very forward thinking. And so I'm always kind of like, okay, so I did that. So what else do I have to do? Like, what's next? You know, what should I be doing? What do I need to be doing? And sometimes, while that's good, you need to kind of just sit back and like relish in the moment and and count your blessings thus far and just kind of pat yourself on the back for whatever that is. Like, it doesn't even need to be huge, but you just need to kind of relish in those moments. And one of the ways I've been doing this is, this past weekend I literally just cleared my Saturday I didn't do anything I didn't do anything with my kids I didn't do anything with friends nothing I locked myself in my office and I kind of just threw on a soundtrack that I love I burned a candle that just like made for atmosphere and I spent like four hours just like reading magazines that I wanted to read and creating my vision board for 2016 and I had not done a vision board before And I didn't really understand the hype. I'll be very honest because there's a lot out there about vision boarding and, you know, manifesting your destiny and this kind of thing. And so I actually went to it. I had the board for at least eight months and did nothing with it. Like, admittedly, I've had this thing for forever. And I just sat and I read and I read articles and I just really thought very intentionally about what it is I want to see for my life, not only in 2016, but just in general, like, what do I want for my life? And I just started cutting out words that kind of, you know, personified exactly what I want to see for myself. And the result, which I'm not sure how, if I want to share it, like I've had a friend ask me if I want to share it with people. I'm not sure if I'm there yet, but what the result is when I look at this board, it's like, wow, that's exactly what I want. And if I could have that, it would be great. And it's not like a million dollars. It isn't stuff like that. Like it's very simple, mundane things that, you know, I think most people would be thankful for. But me in particular, I would be very, very thankful if these things came to fruition. So um, just a lot of self-care, a lot of self-reflection at this time of the year and looking back at everything retrospectively and, you know, looking at your failures as you know lessons and looking at the things that you've done and the things that you have as blessings because they are they're just blessings and again every day you can open your eyes for that alone if you believe in God or whatever you believe in just say thanks literally so that is all I really wanted to share um I'm really glad that people jumped on with me some people that I didn't know like Craig so thank you very much I did see hearts go up thank you I don't like go go too crazy over the hearts but I love them because it makes me feel like what I'm saying is worth your time so thank you so much for joining me I did want to hop on and just wish everybody that watches this my replay viewers as well as those that are tuning in live a happy have a very happy and blessed Thanksgiving enjoy your family eat watch football drink I know I will be and just enjoy it all it's it's a great time of year it's it's a great time for family and I fully fully intend to indulge so enjoy happy Thanksgiving from me to you and take care I will see you on my next scope have a great day bye